and gentlemen, may I direct your attention to something? Chris, the Herons are back. Welcome, everybody, to episode number 167 of the Battered Herons podcast. I am your host, Daniel Granada, and alongside me, as always, Mr. KBD. How are you doing, sir? We're about to go, we're about to go smoke a pound over in Denver this weekend. <laughs> it's legal. That's, it's legal. that's, yeah, it is legal here. over there. Coming yeah, down here. Well, they're coming down here with the pound. We're just oh, going to smoke okay. on that pack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Before we bring in our guest, a little housekeeping. Messi, how you feeling? You think he's gonna play this weekend? No, absolutely not. He's absolutely not. not. We purchased Rapids. we purchased an international spot from Montreal because apparently we like to deal with Montreal quite a bit. Uh, a lot of people are saying that that's for Matias Rojas. Uh, do you think that there's a chance that we're signing Matias Rojas before next Wednesday in hopes that he can help us out next Wednesday? Well, I mean, if if anybody has proven themselves, it's it's Hendo. And nice shirt. I didn't know we didn't even plan this, Bobby. Oh, look, I mean, we didn't even plan is, this. Right? You know, and just for the record, we're we're gonna whoop up on Denver this weekend, Colorado, because our, our guests reminded us of the fact that they were champs last year in the NBA finals that they beat the Miami Heat. Mm-hmm. I'd forgotten about that. I forgot yeah. he's throwing up signs right now. I see him in the back screen, right? <laughs> I see him. So uh Miami versus everybody. So uh, yes, and uh, for those of you not aware, batteredfans.com if you want the shirt. All right, uh, Chris, anything else before we bring on our guests? Because I, I don't think there's much has happened since we last recorded last night. Uh, nothing much has happened. I mean, let Hendo cook. We still got a week, so I'm pretty sure something's gonna go down, whether it's him or or somebody else. I mean, a, a move was made for that international spot, so we're gonna see something happen. Something's happening, and then uh, I, I had a few people tag me on the replay of um of that questionable handball that we never got a replay of yeah but like everybody that tagged me it looked like it was a betamax video like i could not really see what was going on so i still don't know if it was a handball or not but regardless i think everybody agrees if we don't go down to 10 men i think we have a chance to win but we're moving on to saturday we'll talk more about the monterrey second leg on monday so we're moving on to saturday we're playing against the colorado rapids and to help us preview this game, we have Mitch from the DNVR. I forgot the Sports. rest of it, but I know I, I was focused so much on getting those right. But DNVR something, I'm sure he'll tell us right now. Podcast uh, network something. Like, I'm, I'm screwing it up, Mitch. It's I, I DNVR Sports. That's okay. It's DNVR Sports. Yes. No, Mitch. Uh, Correct. Correct. DNVR Sports. DNVR Rapids Podcast. Happy to be right. here, guys. Thank you. Right. Well, we appreciate you. I, I don't appreciate all that dancing you did when I was talking about the Denver Nuggets, Miami Heat, but we appreciate you joining us and uh, ready to preview this weekend's game. But before we do, how are you doing, Mitch? Good, man. Uh, obviously, huge win for the Pids this weekend against LAFC. Come from behind twice. Um, it's, been a, it's been a good week. Beautiful 70 and sunny here in Denver. Uh, can't complain. Nice. You hear that, Chris? They get happy when it's 70 and sunny over there. Oh my goodness. I wish I mean I wish we can get 70 and sunny, but like their sunny is not the same as our sunny. I'll take their sunny over our sunny. I don't even know what that means. I mean, you, you think it's this humid over there in Denver, Colorado? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. We don't mm-hmm. even have South Park. No. Oh, <laughs> like, what I are mean, we doing? What are we doing over here, Danny? And, and and Mr. Krabs, I'm not a Dolphins fan, but yes, good point. Miami can <laughs> can dance on the Dolphins crushing the Broncos. What That's was it, true. 70 to 3? It was wow. something like that. Wow. It was yeah. bad. So, there you go. so, uh, so yeah, I guess we got well, that. Whatever. I mean, no, no title came out of that one, though. All right. Uh, so, the Mitch. Ringless Marino is what came out of that one. Colorado Rapids. Yeah. <laughs> Colorado Rapids. Yeah. Uh, how have they looked so far this year? Yeah. So, I mean, they're, you know, they're 2-2-2. Two, two, and, two. and and honestly, that's pretty representative of, of what the season has looked like right they get the doors blown off in portland week one they're down 4-0 at the half lose 4-1 um blow blow points late against nashville with just a silly handball in the box from johnny lewis mm-hmm. huge win in salt lake first win with the crowd there they won once during COVID, but have never won there otherwise uh with with cole bassett providing the late winner which was cool to see Probably should have come out of Seattle with three points, which is a crazy thing to say, considering what the Rapids have been like over the last couple seasons. Absolutely. 
Um, and then they blow a crappy Houston game. Uh, come back twice against LA with Georgie Mihailovic just exploding. Um, and so it's kind of like, what are we going to see, right? Like, is it going to be that Houston, the team that played Houston and blew it? Is it going to be the team that looked amazing against LAFC? Um, sometimes the press is on fire. Sometimes the press is non-existent. You, it's it's like, who's going to score? They've had seven different goal scorers. Georgie's you know, leading the team with two, right? So it's like, who's it going to come from on what night? Um, and they're still figuring it out. I mean, a whole new system, whole new coach. Chris Armas came in in the offseason. Um, so they're still trying to figure that out. They've had a couple injuries that, that messed that up a little bit too. Connor Ronan was probably the most productive player on the team last year in midfield. Yeah. Um, he, so he's been out. So you're figuring out a new double pivot and kind of still figuring out where to put Georgie and make him the most effective that he can be. And there's just, there's a lot of moving parts and still, you know, you're starting a new wing combination every week and just trying to see who fits in and, you know, pretty decent returns, all things considered. I would, I would uh, probably end up with it's it's positive, but okay. <laughs> At the same Chris time. Henderson is he considered a, a Rapids legend over there? Mm, legend. There's not a ton of them, <laughs> so sure, yeah, let's throw yeah. them in there. Well, I, I can't think of anybody that, that that I say Colorado Rapids and they stand out to me like historically. Well, you know, there's Connor Casey, um, Valderrama played a season here. Um, Pablo obviously in Salt Lake was was a, a long. Was Valderrama the MVP when he played with you guys that one year? Uh, no, no. I, I forget where he was that he won that. <laughs> he won MVP, but I don't remember what, where he was playing when he won that MVP. But you know that's pretty much the list. You know, Jack Price is kind of like an MLS head legend, mm -hmm. right? Um, but no, it's pretty. You know, Omar Cummings, uh, Tim Howard. Um, there's mm, there's a few. Tim names, Howard. But... I forgot about Tim Howard. Tim Howard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Have you guys ever a won one. a chip? Yeah, 2010. 2010. 2010 was it when you guys yeah. won it? Yeah, I was looking it up. Eastern see. Conference champion San Jose in San. <laughs> that was when the MLS was uh, <laughs> real, not making sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, to be clear, I I got into the MLS two years after that, so I was not right. aware of of such a final. San Jose was the Eastern Conference champs. Yeah, that's when it didn't make any. I mean, it still doesn't make a lot of sense if you think about it. But it I mean, was, look uh, at where Nashville is. <laughs> Nashville yeah. doesn't even know where it wants to be. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah so yeah, they do. You know, 2010 was awesome. They were the the uh, they won the West regular season in 2021 on decision day. Um, lost at home to Portland in the playoffs. But uh, you know, it's it and early on. So you know, they're one of the original clubs of the MLS. They did go to two Cup finals uh, mm. in the in the late 90s back to back, but didn't get a didn't get a cup out of it. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Well, well you got you got a star. I, I, I mean, aside, yeah, for sure. I mean, aside from getting into the next question, but one of the things I kind of wanted to bring up is your schedule mm -hmm. for the next couple of weeks. It, it looks pretty tasty. Other than us, mm -hmm. you got San Jose twice. You got NYC FC, who's been on the decline. Uh, the only competitive team that you have coming in the next six, six games is Cincinnati. So, I mean, if there's any time that if you guys want to kind of put the pedal to the metal, it's it's now. Us yeah, included. We're not playing anybody on this weekend. Yeah, it's definitely interesting, too, because, you know, Georgie Mihailovic, kind of, you know, borderline USMNT midfielder. Um, yeah. You know, he's he's the most expensive player in club history this summer. DP, you know, he's your 10. You need to see him produce, and he comes out and has just a master class against LAFC at home. Um, you have Moise Bombito get his first goal. He's kind of the prize of last year's draft. Um, and the prize of this year's draft, Kamani Stuart Baines had the assist to Georgie on the winner. So um, it's uh, that they you see a lot of indicators where where Bombi is really playing well on the back line, kind of anchoring that. Georgie's finding his goal scoring. Um, so you're right. If it, if they make a run, the thing about Colorado is is they consistently get a good result and blow it instantly. Like there's no like we just dominated for two months, right? There's no like three straight wins it's always great result bad result mid result good result it it's it's a roller coaster always historically yes yes so let's yeah. let's cut into some of this with some fun here sure mr krabs is asking does mitch yeah. smoke the green because colorado i mean yeah ah, <laughs> Google, there we go i don't drink <laughs> either. i don't drink either i'm, I'm, I'm sober that way so colorado and sober <laughs> and, and Mitch is asking. He says he basically says I smoke two joints before I smoke two joints, and then 
Hey. Looks like he passed out on that one. Whatever gets you and, through the day, baby. And and Mike <laughs> and and Mike V is uh, he always comes in and, and gives a, a guest of ours a wish character. Says that you're you look like a wish Bam Bam Bigelow, which is good. Bam Bam up. Bigelow. Yeah, you, no, you, Bam Bam. You don't Bigelow, know who Bam Bam Bigelow is? I mean, I he, doesn't, he doesn't have the the tatted head. He oh yeah, he doesn't right. have the tatted head. Oh, yes. you're right. That's awesome. He's an old school wrestler, man. He's like <laughs> he's a legend. That's a throwback. That took me a second. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, let's get over to some of the things sure. that you guys do. All right, uh, as far as the Mitch, team, or I, I think. Yeah, I think I started cutting out. Oh, yeah, my fault. I'm, I'm fault. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I wanted to get to to <laughs> what you guys get to as far as the team uh -huh. or supporters. You guys sure. have any traditions that you guys do? Yeah, so Centennial Thirty Eight, shout out them. C Thirty Eight, they're the supporters group. Um, they are always right behind the goal. Um, they probably have the best tailgate experience, definitely in Denver sports. I'd put it up against any team anywhere. It's right even the Broncos. Stadium. Well, so specifically their tailgate. Now you can go find good tailgates at Broncos games for sure, but their tailgate right there, it's twelve bucks. It's all you can eat food. So there's hot dogs, pizza, and then something else that they mix up every game. Um, a local brewery brings like six different kegs, and it's all you can drink. So it's all you can drink, all you can eat. Twelve bucks. They have a band. It's right across from the entrance to the stadium. Parking's free. They usually have a band or like something fun. Like wait, 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 I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You said you said so parking free to the game on. or to the tailgate, uh -huh. to the whole game, everyone. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot to digest there, Danny. It's yeah. a lot. How much you is parking out of Miami? Parking? I, I mean, it depends. Bucks. Do you want the your 50? first born or your second born? <laughs> it's fifty bucks. That's crazy. It, That's it, crazy. It, what you get yeah, free, free parking? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So like, you know, what are you doing the in Miami? In town like Coors Field, Mile High. Um, Ball Arena where the Nuggets and Avs play. That's right downtown. Um, this stadium, they have a whole facility out in Commerce City. They have like tons of practice fields, a couple turf fields. They host like their youth club there. They host like, uh, uh, you know, like local events and stuff. So they put those. So it's out from the stadium, out from downtown. So they have room. They have a shitload of parking lots. They're all, you know, it's all out there and it's free. Yeah. I am, yeah. I am in utter shock right now. It's pretty tiny. Danny is a Danny is about to write a full letter to not the, <laughs> only the MLS, but to inner Miami ownership. <laughs> anyway, it used to be $30, but then we got the messy tax. So it went up to $50. Yes. Yeah. It's wild. So, all right. Go ahead, Chris. Awesome. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Danny, Danny's already ready to riot. <laughs> well, now, as far as, the, as far as the team goes, you know, sure. what, what kind of, what kind of formation do you guys typically play when it comes to, you know, getting on the pitch? Right. So they'll come out in like a 4-2-3-1 right now, especially with Connor Ronan hurt. So it's going to be Cole Bassett and Ollie Raz will kind of be the two there, double pivot. They're really more natural eights, eight tens kind of yeah. guys, but they've been linking up well with the center backs. So um, you'll put Georgie in the middle ahead of them. Um, the last iteration was Kevin Cabral and Calvin Harris on the wings. So tons of speed, and then uh, Rafa Navarro up top, lone striker. Um, now, they broke this out late last year, or last game, sorry, not last year, um, where they brought Darren Yappy, the backup striker, on, and they just ran more like a 4-2-2-2 for the first nice. time, which really opened up uh, space for Georgie there. Um, so it kind of just depends how they want. And, they, you know, they have some defensive subs they can go to where they can really go 4-3-3 or even 5-3-2 if, if they need to. Um, the, defensively, do you guys press high? Do you play like a mid block, low block? They are. I mean, so Armis, you know, came from Red Bull under Jesse Marsh. And then, oh and then, God! Um, so Forget it, it. You know, it's a wrap. Pressing, 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 pressing. Um, <laughs> oh, God. which which has been great at times, honestly, this year. Like it really has. Um, in that win against Salt Lake, um, you know, Chicho and, and Diego Luna were basically invisible for the last 25, 30 minutes. The press just doesn't stop. Like it's not necessarily. I'm not going to call it the most organized, strongest defensively press that you see in the league, but it doesn't stop and it stays high pressure throughout the game. Um, and it's really thrown off some guys. Dennis uh, Buanga kind of disappeared towards the end of the game uh, this weekend too. Um, oh, look, they're brutal. leaky. Like I, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to say that Colorado has a fantastic defense, but the work rate is there and it's just annoying, right? It's just nonstop. I mean, it's it, wave after wave. Did you see what happened when we played the Red Bulls two weeks ago? 
Like the weakness of Inter Miami this season all year has been beating the press. When yeah. teams press us, Awful. we just can't work out of it. And um, that well, so it sucks to hear that. Can I ask you guys a question? Do you think the four, any of the four, are going to play this weekend? Jordi Alba oh, probably yeah. play because he's a. Alba he's will a, probably play. Luis Suarez will, will probably play. play. Nah, Suarez... I don't think Luis Suarez is going to play. No way. They 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 got to hold all their ammunition for that game on Wednesday. Right. That, so, that, yeah. So look, that that was priority coming into the season was this tournament was the Champions Cup. Right. You're going to get eliminated. So I would say, like, if you don't have the older guys, I mean, this is an outsider's view. You guys will know better than me, but right. taking off some of the older legs might actually help against that mm. press, right? Like, Moise Bombito is one of the two center backs. He's a, he has recovery speed like I've really never seen. Um, Sammy Vines is obviously really fast on the left. But Maxu and Keegan Rosenberry, are, they don't have the recovery speed even close of those guys. Like, the speed is really concentrated up top with Cabral and Harris um, and then Moise at the back. Everyone else is not, like, athletically speaking, like, too, like, un, unbeatable. You know, you know, do you, do you know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying here? Like, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well I, I'll mention something really quickly because you mentioned the strength and then now you're mentioning some, you know, in some way, shape, mm -hmm. or form, weaknesses. Mm -hmm. But I think you don't need guys that have speed in that in that sense on the mm -hmm. defensive back line because Luis Suarez isn't the fastest. That's and if true. he doesn't play, <laughs> you got Campana and Borgelin who are also slower strikers. True. And then our fastest wing, which is Robert Taylor, just got injured last game. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, at this point, Gressel is on the right wing. He's not fast. Not fast. On the all. left wing, on the left wing, we're not going to have another fast person. So, I think I have Alfonso. You, yeah, maybe, but that guy's like brand new out the box. So yep. you I mean, in reality, on his breath. yeah, <laughs> I mean, straight up. And other than that, I don't know if you guys are actually going to be needing or or having the necessity of having guys that run back quickly. You guys can have guys as slow as molasses, and I think you'll be sure. fine as far as recovery is concerned. Sure. And really with that that double pivot of, of Cole Bassett uh, and, and Ali Raz there in the middle, um, and then having a guy like Zach Steffen in goal to distribute. Like, there's a lot of distribution channels at that back where if they need to play a possession game, keep that high line and kind of just m make Miami play the counter, that's where I start to worry, right? Where it's like, if you're going to give the Rapids possession, that's going to pull Maxu up, who's who's huge. Mm -hmm. He's a giant. He's a good positional uh, center back, but he's not fast by any stretch, right? right. Keegan, savvy vet. Great crosses, great long throws, stuff like that. But he's not, you know, he's the oldest player on the team. You know, he's not going to catch a speedy winger down the back. So, you know, I they want to play probably how Miami wants this game to go. Yeah, unfortunately, right. So yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it's just really curious, like who's the play, who, what playmaker is going to be the one to really make the play at this weekend, right? And if there's just Jordy, you know, you don't one of you doesn't think Luis is going to play, right? Messi's. No, I, I don't. I, I've said over and over, there's zero chance Messi ever touches the field against the Rapids. I, I would be shocked if that ever happened. That's so far below what he needs to do. Uh, this game, you know, well, you doesn't know what? matter. I think if it was a, a game in like September, October, I think that he Absolutely. would. Absolutely. The sure. fact mm -hmm. that it happened right in the middle of the Champions Cup, no way that he was going to play this game. Yeah. After especially, losing. Especially in, right. Especially injured. Like, like they're not going to be like, all right, fine. Let's test out the injury today against the Rapids. Mm -hmm. Game, yeah. what, five of the regular season? It's not happening. No. Well, and you also have to consider, Danny, we're talking about we just lost. And on top of that, the, the team, the organization was prioritizing this tournament. So if we're prioritizing this tournament over the MLS season and we're early in the MLS season, there's no way that he's going to be playing. So No. And I saw somebody in the comments here wrote that they saw Jordi Alba wincing. If at all, Jordi Alba isn't 100%, I don't think he plays either. Uh Unfortunately, oh I think Busquets has to play because we literally have no more midfielders. And um, and I don't think Luis Suarez plays. Diego Gomez might not play. Like We're going to be bare bones. We're going to have a lot of young guys. You're going to see um, – I, I forget Javier Morales' this kid. He's in the academy. He might play. You're going to see Gressel maybe, <laughs> uh, Sunderland. I, I know that they won't do it. But I'd be okay if they just forfeited. They're like, look, we don't have enough guys to to to, to go out there and and play. Forfeit? No, I wish. That would be awful. 
I mean, that, that would be it, embarrassing. I, I, I know it would never happen, but literally, we have <laughs> we don't have guys to play. I remember I was I was going back and forth with somebody um, on Twitter because they're like, "Oh, Data didn't sub anybody in last night." I was like, "Who did you want him to sub who's, in? Who's Los he going to bring in? <laughs> Jensen? Those are both had- goalkeepers. Like we had nobody to put in. Like it's gotten unfortunate to a point where you start questioning the the medical staff because it's wild the amount of injuries that are. Oh, there you go. That that are that are piling up for us. Well, you know what? Uh, you sound like you sound like a weirdo, Danny, because everybody was saying <laughs> the same thing about when Phil Neville was coaching the team. First, they were blaming Phil Neville. Then they were blaming the medics. Then they were blaming the training staff. Like, I mean, at this point, you know, shit happens. I mean, soccer daddy, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what happened to the roster. I don't know. <laughs> I, know. I know. At one point, we thought it was really deep, and now it's just uh, it just disappeared. Well, All right. Um, put in Beckham. Yeah, uh, I mean, he might he might have to lace them up. Yo, I mean, speaking so of players, lit. I'm down. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome if he just jumps in there. All right. Uh, so we have a lot of listeners that aren't very familiar with the Rapids. Sure. So what player would you say is probably not a household name that maybe we should look out for and get familiar with? Not a household name. Um, I mean, honestly, it's probably Moise Bombito. I know I've brought him up a couple times already. Um, he was the number two pick in the draft last year. Um, in 18 months, he went from playing at a junior college at Iowa to starting for the Canadian national team. Um, so he, he's just a giant center back, crazy athletic, insane speed. Um, you know, still young, like, you know, he, he's going to learn a lot about playing center back still. Right. But his athleticism generally makes up for mistakes. Um, you know, he had a, his first goal was on his birthday this weekend against LAFC. Uh, nice. It was kind of cool. Um, I just think he's, I mean, to me, this guy's not long for the MLS. You know, someone's gonna, someone's gonna gamble on the upside overseas for him. Um, he really is. He's, he's awesome. Um, and, and well, then he's 24 he, too. Yeah. Yeah. Started later, came in later. Um, he's great. Um, uh, and then Cole Bassett, I mean, he's, he's the hometown kid. Right. He was through the academy. Um, he's kind of part of this whole group of guys this year that that went to Europe. Americans, whatever happened with their situation wasn't great, came back. Right. So that's Cole Bassett, Sam Vines, another homegrown, um, Jordy Mihailovic, Zach Steffen are all guys that are kind of on the fringe of the U.S. national team ecosystem looking for looking for spots. Um and, you know, Cole, Cole uh, he was with that last Olympic camp, like the last under 23 camp in Spain. Um, so, you know, he's looking at like a, an Olympic team hopeful this summer in Paris. Nice. Um, you know, Vines broke his leg right before the World Cup, but he was getting minutes before the, the 22 World Cup. Um, Zach Steffen obviously has started several times for the, for the U.S. team. Um, and then Georgie, I mean, that midfield is just so stacked for the U.S. that he's probably not going to break in. But if he keeps having games like he did this weekend, he's going to get some minutes, put himself in position to at least get a couple camps in, even if it's just friendlies. Right. So, you know, it's an interesting it's an interesting mix. I guess the other guy is kind of the guy I refuse to sell my stock on, even though I probably should, is Kevin Cabral. You know, he finally started again last week. He was kind of the the huge acquisition. uh, Galaxy bought him for like six million dollars, I think, from uh, someone in France. Um, Hasn't gone great. But he's the fastest guy I've ever seen. He dusts everybody and races at practice. It's it's crazy how fast he is. You see the skill, hasn't put it together. So I'm kind of hoping that he had a goal against Seattle. He started, had a good game this weekend. Hopefully he kind of starts to 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 get it back going again. Now, Danny, I think that you should phrase this question because the way that you phrase this question, Danny, it's it's really perfect okay. about be so I don't is is gambling legal in Colorado? Oh yeah. What it is, is it okay. legal? <laughs> so that's a we can do question. anything, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so hypothetically, let's say you're sure. a degenerate and you want to gamble. Okay. And you're gonna put the house on Miami. You just decide I'm just gonna put the house on Miami. And you're gonna walk up to Tata Martino and you're gonna whisper in his ear, Hey, I got the house on you. Okay. And I'm gonna help you win this game. This is what you have to do. Mm-hmm. What is it that you're telling Tata so that you could win the house back? Man, uh, I would probably start messy for sure. I'd start, uh, <laughs> uh, that's a pretty easy one. Uh, <laughs> you'll probably well played, win sir. Well played. Time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, look, I mean, score. Um, 
I would work that left side, right? Work the Keegan Keegan Rosenberry. I, the left one side, of my favorite okay. Guys ever. He's he's the team captain. He's he's just a true MLS vet. Easy to root for. But if you know, that's where those attacks have been the most dangerous. Um, Portland. What a shame. Uh, you know, obviously, um, Dennis Bawanga had had a a really close off the crossbar run up the left there, um, and then look they. The Rapids play from behind. Like they they keep doing it. And they've gotten, you know, four results this season somehow, right? But it's dangerous to play from behind. So if you get aggressive early, it's it's a lot. Um it it, it really is the key. Like if you can get one even one goal ahead early, um, you know, because then the you can allow the the best way the Rapids can play is on the counter, right? So if you score early, you can give them possession instead. Right and so right. and Just and then a, a they don't really know block. what to do because they're still learning these passing systems and networks between guys. Like Georgie's kind of started out playing on the right, so then he was on the left. Now he's kind of dead center, um, and so it's really they you know they're they have midfield guys in, in who have shifted because of the injury to Connor Roan. and so allowing possession once you take a lead is is pretty much the way to go against these Rapids, like for sure. I they they're not going to kill you. In possession, and so and I gotta yeah go ahead, Danny. I was gonna say just attack the left side and hope to score early, mm -hmm. um, and then just give up possession. Okay, I got I I gotta be honest, Danny. It's a shame to hear that, especially considering that this guy right here <laughs> got injured last game. Because if he didn't get injured, he'd be eating. He would definitely side. be eating. Yes or no? He's on the left side. He'd be eating. That's his world. But now we got Afonso, who, like you said, smells like baby uh, powder. Similac. You know, yeah, like Similac. This guy just came out the womb. And uh, yeah. either, either he's going to bust out looking like a star or or things are going to look real ugly on that side. And Jordi Alba is going to have a screaming contest with him. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, gonna be look, fun. I, I thought that I thought he looked good uh, when he when we seen him. All right. So I guess we'll get to uh, the predictions part here uh, oh i don't know what just happened i got you i got you all right so uh mitch mm -hmm. well do, before we get into the predictions real quick chris sure. just to help mitch out who do you think is actually going to play who's going to play for inter miami on saturday i well, don't think he's I mean, playing i don't think Luis Suarez is playing let's bring up the starting lineup from yesterday's game right i mean okay. here it is right we got ruiz is playing all game Ruiz, Ruiz is okay. playing. He's playing as all game. Punishment. He's, as punishment. Yeah, he's playing all game. There's no way yeah. he's getting off the field. Like yeah. no, even no, no, during no. halftime, he's running up and down yeah, the you, field. You're running suicides <laughs> during halftime. That's punishment. 100. Yes. percent So he's uh, playing 105 minutes without a doubt. Wagon's playing. Aviles is playing. Freire is playing. Uh, Alba, I, I think he's playing because he's he's become like the, the the heart and soul, I guess, so far. I agree. I thought he would play unless what the person said in the chat that he was wincing, maybe might might have gotten nicked up. If that's the case, then maybe Noah Allen. But I also thought Alba would start. So let's go I, hypothetically Alba plays. And, and I think, I mean, this is disrespectful, but I think Calendar is going to sit and Dos Santos is going to play. Why? Uh, just because I mean this is this is starting this is sounding to be a very disrespectful Saturday this weekend. No, no, no. I think Calendar will play. What the hell? What does he have to do? Sit Walk him. side to Sit side. Him. Sit him. Sit him. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you'd be lucky if we get Jensen. I mean, we got a guy, we got no. Bruno in the chat tank. He's probably hoping that Jensen, the third stringer, plays. So yeah. look, I, I uh, think that back five will stay the same, with, with including the goalkeeper. I think that stays the same. Uh, Busquets, I see him playing. Uh, so I mean, I. I, I think that I think that I think he still has to get some some minutes in. I don't know if he's playing the whole game, but he's gonna play. Yeah, I think um, he'll start. Gomez is gonna play. Ruiz, no. of course, is gonna play. Yeah, Gomez, Gomez is Gomez gonna play, play, bro. He no. can't live without playing, dude. He he. <laughs> if you like measure the miles, he probably played two games on Wednesday. Like he I, did. I, that he he is not playing on Saturday. Gressel's playing for sure. Uh, yes. Suarez, I think he no. plays, but if not, then Campana, Campana starts. Campana has to start. Uh, and then I don't know who the hell they're going to throw at left wing. I mean, Alfonso. I guess they're going to start Alfonso over like Sunderland. Sunderland will play in the midfield over, over Gomez. 
I love this. I don't know, man. This this I Saturday love this. Is, I'm yeah. gonna be going to this game and I'm not gonna recognize half the players. Like there's gonna be because those are my favorite games. This Look, and, and let me preface this by saying I enjoy watching Messi play, right? Because let me tell you something, Mitch. People oh, don't do jump it. at yeah. you when they yeah. think you're yeah. disrespecting Messi. We love right? Messi, guys. Yes. We love him. <laughs> I love Messi. But, we love him. Yes, right. we all love him. But I do enjoy watching the underdog into Miami team go ahead and try to beat somebody when they're not supposed to. I think that's sure. fun to watch also. When it's that's like, oh, Messi's so not do playing. You think, do you think that this is a not supposed to win weekend for them? Yeah. I think it's a, you told me who players, cares? Uh, yeah. I think after what you told me the, the Colorado's playing style is, Mm-hmm. In my mind, this game just got a lot more difficult to win, sure. especially with our injuries and all that. Uh, I, I think this is going to be a lot more difficult to win. I think we're going to – well, I'm not going to get ahead of myself with the prediction, but, yeah, I, I think this got a lot more difficult. I, I mean, guess look the, at last this. Thing, the last thing yeah. I'll put there is probably that, that their best games this year have been against the best teams they've played, right? Like mm-hmm. LAFC this up. weekend, at RSL, um, and in Seattle, right? And those were back-to-back. They got four points out of that. Should have been all six pretty easily. Um, it was actually really frustrating. They only came before, which is crazy to say, considering they were bottom of the West last year and missed the playoffs the year mm. before, right? So it's like um, they're definitely in form uh, against the big dogs. They show up. Um, so I'm I'm glad that there's at least a little bit of some modicum of respect for what the Rapids are doing <laughs> over there. Because, well, yeah, I, l- like... <laughs> let me leave you with this, though, before you, you, you give us your prediction. Mm-hmm. Over the last two and a quarter, I guess you could say, mm-hmm. Uh, seasons for Inter Miami, they've lost 23 games away from home, but at home they've only lost 11 times. Right. And the last two and a half, like they they play very well at home, even when we had sorry ass Neville as our coach. So right. Ah, uh, you're disrespectful, bro. <laughs> Mad disrespectful. He's doing big things in Portland, bro. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. He, yeah, he, he the hooked up respect. on the Rapids. That's it. After that, it's been that downhill. A, that was a beat down. That was bad. Yeah. That was yeah. bad. Well, I mean. I'm looking forward to a game where, according to sounds, our goalie Drake Calendar will be playing left wing. So love that. That's gonna be fun. So that's gonna uh, be fun. all right, goalie. Oh my goodness! Super, look at what's happening, Danny. Super Califragilistics already coming at, at, out the box, <laughs> right, guys? We love <laughs> Messi. I it's breathe okay. Messi's air. He shares it with us. If uh, if you ever want to see just people get roasted, go just go on our old YouTube videos. Any cha- any episode you choose. You'll see all the people cursing us out for disrespecting Messi. <laughs> and we right. guys, um, uh huh. Go ahead, Mitch. There's just an, there's something like that here. So like you know, our whole network does shows like this where it's like you know live on YouTube with interactions and stuff. Um, a couple of years ago, when Jamal Murray was hurt, uh, this little dude from Argentina, Facu Campazzo, was playing all season, and his fans are insane. And it might That's maybe right. it's an Argentinian thing. Maybe maybe. It's a, Maybe it's just a specific to those two guys, but it was like you could not say a, a, a wrong word. You would get death threats. You'd get like yeah. crazy DMs. It's like – so I, Dude, I feel you guys. I feel you if, guys. If you, I, I went – who was it? Was it like after the third game? No, after the fifth game, I said, up until this point, I think Luis Suarez has played like our MVP. Holy shit. I swear <laughs> to God. I have never said anything more disrespectful in my life if you read those comments. Apparently, so funny. I, I – I, you let me tell you something. How dare you? <laughs> the slack I got for suggesting that up until that point, Luis Suarez was the MVP of the of, of the team. But whatever. God I, forbid. I love, I, I, love you, I love Messi. God forbid you speak anything positive about anyone else except Messi. There you go. Yeah, of course. All right. Don't you dare. And, All right, uh, Mitch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so prediction time, Mitch. It's game time. Okay. You got to give right. everybody what your prediction is going to be. What 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 are we doing here, Mitch? What what's what, what numbers are we going with? I'm going to call it a two two draw. Ooh. I really think that's that's Rapids have been scoring, but not scoring a ton. This was you know they haven't. This was the first game they had scored three goals since May of last year. Um, oh shit! Hold oh, on, you're dude. cutting out, Mitch. You cut out a little bit, Mitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. cut out. You're we can't hear you. you. We can't hear you that well. Something's happening. I think it was the connection with the microphone, maybe. Uh, I Can think you maybe you. Can you yeah, it was now the disrespect for Messi. Okay. That's what happened. Yeah, that's that what happens. Right. You talk bad they about hacked. Messi. You even hacked. think bad about him. Forget yeah. about it. I was hacked. Yeah, look at this. I was hacked. Don't, don't um, disrespect my Argentine and Lord. Look at that. <laughs> I, I, I'm a messy guy. Hey. Um, <laughs> you know, it was actually the first soccer kid I ever bought. I was in, I was in, uh, I was overseas and I was like, that's the one I want. 
I had no idea who it nice. was, but it was the blue and white Argentina home kit. Okay. It said Messi on the back. And then the nice. rest was history. This yeah. was in like 2007. This was like long, long time ago. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna drop a fun fact right now, also, because I got a little, sh- a lot of shit because I'm a Real Madrid fan. Sure. But I'm gonna. Oh, I'm it's gonna been real drop... tough, huh? No, oh. <laughs> oh well, personally, no. But on this show, yes. Sure. But I, I am gonna drop. Now that you brought that, that, that reminded me. You know, I got into club soccer in 2013. Right, I wasn't really into club soccer, just international, but. Mm-hmm. Before 2013, I actually purchased a uh, soccer kit that was in an international Colombia, United States. And it was a Barcelona Messi jersey. I own a Barcelona Messi jersey, and I'm not a Barcelona fan, but you just reminded me. My first ever club kit was a Messi jersey, Barcelona, which I never really wore, but. All right, uh, sorry to cut you off, Mitch. So go ahead. No, you're good. And he said, "No, he said two two, Danny. He said it's two, a two two, two right. draw. I think two two. two two. You know, I do think, I think they're gonna get some goals. I think they're gonna give up at least one goal they shouldn't have. They've been pretty dialed in on set pieces so far, so I think they're just gonna somehow find a way to manufacture two. But I don't think the defense is good enough. Depending on who plays, right now, if you told me none of the four are playing, I'll probably pick a Rapids win, right? Because there's no way they they're sitting anyone. They're looking at, to go get as many points as they can. There's no like we have to rest for this competition or we have to you know there's they're not part of the senior team isn't part of Open Cup um, you know there's nothing like that that they have to worry about so Busquets uh, is the only one that I think has to play by default just because we have not many other heads in the in the midfield but Jordi right. Alba might not play I guess uh, Luis Suarez I don't think is playing Messi for sure isn't playing and Busquets hasn't necessarily looked like prime Busquets recently so. I'm gonna uh, think it's a draw you... and just cross my fingers for a dub because I think it's possible. You know, okay. like I think it's possible. Yeah. I mean, my prediction isn't gonna go that way. I think it's sure. gonna be like two one. Sure. Inter Miami wins. I think uh I think that's Would a possibility. I think it might be a little sloppy, to be honest. It might be three two. Just I mean, I, you know, just for shits and giggles. Uh what do what do you think, Danny? I think the fact that they play that high press, we've been playing a lot of long balls recently. And I think we might catch them with one or two. Maybe we have somebody yes. that can finish. <laughs> so I could see us scoring two, but I could also see us turning the ball over plenty and, and and giving up two. I'm going to go with Mitch. I'm going to go two-two draw. Just because when we're at home, we're a hard team to beat. Yeah. But I, I with the with the injuries and everything piling up, I don't necessarily think that we're shooting to win either. So I'm just going to go two-two draw also. Well, let's go. I- is it game time, Danny? Is yeah, it time is, to stop Chris, talking? This, this is Chris's favorite part of the show, by the way, Mitch. We're almost done. Okay, Mitch, we're we're almost done, but now we got to have a little bit of fun here. We're we're done with soccer. We're done with football, guys. We love okay. Messi, but it's 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 real life stuff here <laughs> now, guys. So here we got a sandwich. I'm just plopping it right here on the screen. You got to pick how you cut that sandwich in your life, Mitch. Do you go diagonal or you go north to south? Diagonal. There oh, we go. Diagonal cutter. What are we doing? Diagonal. Man. You get more sandwich, and I know I don't know how the map what? says so, but you do. Yeah. No, that is incorrect. You know what? I'm gonna have to really do some like scientific research Sorry. here, Danny, because that is <laughs> yeah. not possible. I just that's I, what it feels like. It just feels they both both of those pieces feel bigger than the other one. I don't know. So uh, also, Chris, I don't know if you've noticed, but when you oh, I think somebody brought it up on the show. When you purchase <laughs> Those those little sandwich holders, it's already it comes diagonal. I don't. I I bought a half one, a, a north to south one. I didn't buy no diagonal one. I mean, those don't exist. This? this is a those circus. I mean, <laughs> what, what kind of humans are you cutting your sandwiches diagonally? That's illegal in some states. Nothing's allegedly. illegal in Colorado. Nothing's we illegal in Colorado. Literally, whatever we want. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They probably cut it in circles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. <laughs> so here's here's the next here's the next uh, question, Mitch. So when I go yeah. grocery shopping, I hold the shopping cart from the front like a man, okay? Like a homeless person, like a homeless person. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's so. Funny. So oh no, wait, wait, Mitch, wait. We gotta we gotta lead it up, okay? So are you a front car holder or are you one of these normies with the back car holder? Pusher, okay, he's so... a pusher. Okay, if if I have my druthers, am I allowed my druthers on this? If I, if I'm allowed my druthers and I'm at Costco on the weekend with my wife, what the hell's a druther? I don't even want to be 
on, I don't even want to be on the cart. I want to be the guy walking, not in the cart. That's my preference is no cart, but no, are you, you're a basket push. holder. Yeah, I'll do a basket. I got a grocery store really close to my house. I don't do, I don't do major groceries, gro- you know, week worth of groceries. I just go grab yeah. whatever I need. So, Ugh. um, but yeah, I, I'll say I'm a pusher, not a puller. Okay. Right, and now okay. I need to know I'll what the hell a drudder is. Druthers, uh, if I have my, uh, it's just a, it's an old timey saying. I don't know if I have my way. If I have my, uh, don't tell me do you're you... one of those people that call soda pop. No soda, I'm normal. Okay, um, okay, good. No, boy, you don't have. <laughs> I'm the normal. One I don't like. Well, th- there are people that call grocery carts buggies out here. Never heard that. Yeah, what? I don't like that. Sounds yeah. like a when somebody's when somebody's lingo. just joking around. Do you say I'm just joshing? No. No. Oh my God! What? Good man, good man, good man. I say, I say, right. you know, effing with you, Wait. messing with you. Yeah. What? Yeah. One more, Danny. One that we created yesterday on yesterday's show. Okay. Mitch, Mitch, boy bands, best of the best. In sync or Backstreet Boys? Where are we going? Whoa, man! Are you going for peak? Or are you going for right now? Or... Right now? Just boom! Just right no, out overall, the mic right now. Overall. Boom. Give it overall. to me. Just give it to me. Backstreet Boys. Oh, boom, baby! Woo! Doing, told you. I told no. you. Millennium came out when I was in like fourth or fifth grade. He, uh, that was my jam, dude. NSYNC is a one-man band, man. That's it. There you That's go. true, too. Nah, is good. <laughs> nah, what are you, you talking about? I told He's you. A good dancer. Good singer, good <laughs> dancer. What are we doing, guys? <laughs> it's Backstreet Boys over everything. You're a wild man. <laughs> Mike, Mike says 98 degrees. I like 98 that. degrees. That's hilarious. N- Nick Lachey over here. Watch Love Nick is Lachey Blind. was just he has uh, a running show right now. They're shooting. Love runs yeah, he's on Love Is Blind, right? Nick Lachey. He's on everything on Netflix. He, he is just Netflix sitting, at this point. He was just sitting courtside at a Nuggets game the other night, so I think they're filming Love Is Blind here or something like that. Oh, yeah. shout nice. out ninety eight degrees. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> menudo. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if Mitch is up with Menudo. Stamp. Look at this. Yeah. All right. Oh, hell it's yeah. on the block. I mean, they got a Wahlberg. I'll take that. New Kids is before my time, but not that much before my time. Donnie Wahlberg is on New Kids on the Block. Mark Wahlberg's yeah. brother. You know, fun fact, Mark Wahlberg was supposed to be on New Kids on the Block, but Mark Wahlberg is too hood for that because he's from Boston. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Southie. Southie. Get the fuck out of here, Southie. <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Uh Mitch, well, we appreciate you having some fun with Dude, us. Dude, thanks time for with having us, me. Man. Yeah, man, that was a good time. I uh, really hope you kick your ass, uh, but sure. I'm not feeling Same. too confident. Uh, <laughs> fuck the Nuggets, and uh, hey. let everybody know where they can uh, find you. Uh, DNVR Rapids on Twitter. DNVR underscore Rapids is our show account there. We always put out our links for our shows. We do at least two shows a week. We do a post game. We do a midweek show. We have guys like you know Tom Bogart on. We've had the GM the president of the Rapids nice. on players. Have you had Taylor Twillman? Cause he's been avoiding us. We have not had Taylor yet. I'm trying. I've been working on that one. So we'll see how that goes. Shame um, on you, Taylor. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, he told, he know, told me he was going to come on with us. And then he, he completely ghosted me. <laughs> Damn. If, if I, I if I get a hold of him, I'll tell him to get over here. Uh, yeah. And then DNVR, uh, DNVR sports on YouTube. Throws a subscription. It's, we have all sorts of shows, but this one, DNVR Rapids is obviously my favorite. So uh, check us out. Appreciate Same you, one. and uh, and my, my city Luke is just joining us now. I know on Thursdays is weird, uh, Vice. Uh, I mean, we only had like sixty some odd people in here. That's, that's really low for us usually. Uh, we but we appreciate it's the Thursday Rapids effect, jump baby. It's the, <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it, Thursdays that eight o'clock time slot uh, on Thursday kills us, but it's all good. We appreciate everybody that did hang out with us. Uh, Chris, any yeah. final words? No, nah, that's it, man. I can't wait for Saturday. It's going to be a fucking blast. So, Are you making it down here, Mitch, to the game? Is there a large contingent that travels? No. no. <laughs> large contingent, yeah. you know, like, uh, got I'll more bet you there'll be a larger contingent. Than people moving down here. You know, our closest game is like an 11-hour drive to Salt Lake, right? Like, it's, Ooh, it's not really. Like, yeah, or Kansas City, I guess, might be a little closer, but it's like, you know, nothing, I didn't realize no close, how isolated you guys were. There's no close game, so you're flying, then you gotta, you know, 
Airbnb or hotel or whatever. So traveling mm. is tough, especially they've been bad lately. But they had a good, couple good crowds. They had a good crowd in Portland, good crowd in Salt Lake. You know, and, and as they get better, I think more will show up. But not necessarily a national brand. You know what I mean? Like there's not like not a lot of casual Rapids fans across the country that are packing stadiums like like a Miami visit would do. You know, so yeah, I get you. Um, yeah, we'll see. Well, yes. uh, thank you, Justin Blair, for joining us. Justin Blair is one of those weird guys that call soda pop, so that <laughs> must be like an Ohio thing. Uh, but uh, again, thank you, Mitch. You were awesome. We really appreciate you. And for everybody that joined us, thanks again for joining us on this awkward eight o'clock time. If you're listening on audio, thank you for listening all the way to the end. Please leave us five star comment, review all that other good stuff. If you're watching on YouTube, please thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. No, seriously, go tell your friends. Uh, and for those of you that joined us in the chat, as always, you guys are the best part of the show. We appreciate you hanging out with us for the last 45 minutes or so. And um, we'll be back on Saturday night to give you the post-game reaction show. So until the next one, have a good one.